everybody and welcome back to our youtube channel which is also known as fab 5 today in this session we are going to solve this worksheet in front of us which belongs to the sof nso which stands for national science olympiad this is a model test paper for people to practice who will be participating in the nso upcoming nso exams of 2023 and 2024 year so without wasting further time i will first dive into the first question for today's session but before doing that like always, I would like to remind our viewers that if you are not a subscriber yet to our YouTube channel, we would like to request you to please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This will motivate us for the upcoming sessions. And also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the latest updates. Having said so, let us see the first question for today's worksheet. Question 1 from the logical reasoning part. If minion X and T are removed, then minion dash is flipped to the left of minion Q. So to the left of minion Q if we are removing X and T. So where is X? This is X. So let us cross it and this is our T. Now if we calculate from fifth from the left of minion Q we will reach at M. So among A, B, C, D options, option C has M hence we will mark C as the right answer. Moving on to question number 2. Arrange the following alphabets to form a meaningful word and identify the category of the word form. So this is the letters of the word R N E O A G and let us see which among these can be formed using a meaningful word from this category. So the options are A flower, B fruit, C animal and D month. The only possible answer is B that is fruit for this question. So we will mark that as the answer. So, question number two, the word from is actually orange if you rearrange this, hence we marked fruit. Now, moving on to question number three, in which of the following figures, figure X is exactly embedded as one of its own parts. So, if you quickly see at the four options and the four squares over there, you will see in picture number D is actually how this can be embedded. See, this is the structure, hence we will mark D as the answer. Question number four, if this structure means this balls and the balls means this structure this structure means this cone and this cone means this cylinder then which of the following has a triangular face obviously as you can see this has a triangular face but this is represented by which object this object hence when we see at this we will actually see at this hence this structure has triangular face which is in option d as well hence we will mark d as the answer question number five Find the missing figure. So as you can see, we have a pattern of the missing figure. And after the uh, moon, we have this star. Hence, after this moon, in place of question mark, we can place this star. Similarly, following the pattern, after this upper arrow, we always see there is a plus sign green. Hence, there, this will be replaced by a plus sign green. And among the options A, B, C, D, we see star and plus sign option C. Hence, that is the answer. But before moving, moving forward, solve the other questions let us first look at this book why we are representing this book for the first time in our session we are going to recommend you with books because for the only reason is that what we found that we generally do a session on a weekly basis and we upload either one or two worksheet at a time but if you need more practice how will you achieve this more practice the only way to do that is to find more practice sets that can be found with these books as, as you can see we have in front of us for the 2023 exam series, which is the upcoming exam series, the best seller of Oswald's books, One for All Olympiad Science Class 3 exam. So this is the only book which can help you in all kinds of Olympiad exams, be it SOF, Unisys, Crest, to name a few of them. There are lots more also. You can target any Olympiad exams, be prepared with these exams and this book will help you to achieve that. And we will shortly look at why I am recommending this book. So the table of contents and as you can see it is written over here this is the latest syllabus so you will get the latest syllabus instead of searching through all the different kinds of forums in internet this book will guide you with the latest syllabus and what are the latest syllabus for the science let us see chapter 1 we have plants and animals then for chapter 2 birds and common insects for chapter 3 soil water and weather for chapter 4 this is food for chapter 5 human body for chapter 6 housing and clothing for chapter 7 forms of matter and materials then for chapter 8 we have transport and communication followed by chapter 9 which has resources and pollution 
chapter 10 light sound and force and chapter 11 earth and universe so this chapter will give you concepts and other facts which you need to know in order to pass these kind of exams and the achiever section but the most important thing is what comes after chapter 11 and that is these two things as you can see sample question paper for level 1 with solution and sample question paper for level 2 with solution so these are the most important thing like we I just said that we uh, in spite of all the worksheet that we put on we feel that the student as a student you need more and more and more practice because practice will come handy at the time of solving the more question you solve the more you are habituated the more experienced you are with the type of question the format of question and it will be easy for you to solve them while in the actual examination so let us go to the sample question paper for level one now so as you can see we have the level one sample question paper with total marks 40 total question 35 one hour time the general instruction which you get and this is the type of question that you can expect so we have 35 questions 40 numbers and 1 hour you can use this to solve this I will let you see the other questions as well let me just skip through it so this is the achiever section the most important sector with the highest mark but the question that a bit tricky as well as now we will move to the level 2 as you can see level 2 similarly 60 marks 50 question total time 1 hour so a bit more questions a bit more marks but also the level of question will be a bit higher because this is level 2 as you can see we also have papers for this but that is not the end let me tell you the most important fact about it and which was at the beginning of the book let me let, let me take you there this is for the parents because I doubt a class 3 student will not be able to do that for the parents this is the most important thing so this is the section as you can see get your olympiads updates over here to get all important olympiad updates throughout the year scan this code you have to scan this code to get the latest updates on the olympiad exam but that is not all the main importance of this book comes in the first page only let us see that page and this is the most important thing what is this this is part of the oswald 360 program and what is that this is secret olympiad qr code what you will get you will get a gateway of treasure to exclusive olympiad mock papers worth rupees 299 absolutely free only with this book and that is the most important book which means more practice paper means more experience more practice and more result oriented that is the one that is the reason the main reason why we recommend this book and now we will again go back to the worksheet and start solving the paper. Now, question number six. Having come back to the worksheet that we were previously doing, now we will start from question number six because we already did till question number five. So, different animals eat up their food in different ways. Find the odd animal among the following based on how it eats up its food. So, these are the animals along A, B, C, D. As you can see, we have rat, squirrel, frog, and also a rabbit. But question 6 so as you can see we have all the options the difference between them is A, B and D option animals actually nibble their food they bite it and chew it out whereas C swallows the food altogether hence that is the odd one out so we will mark C as the answer moving on to question number 7 now the given figure shows two gases X and Y that are used by the plants and animals during daytime which of these can be X and Y so as you can see plants are taking in Y and they are exhaling or uh, letting out X which animals consume but animals are letting out Y. So what can be this? We all know that oxygen carbon dioxide plays a very important role in our breathing process or how plants and animals both breathe and live and always you see animals breathe in oxygen and we will exhale out carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is actually what? plants consume and provide such with oxygen hence option c oxygen and carbon dioxide for x and y is the right answer question number eight refer to the given figure and select the correct option so this is the figure we are talking about and the options are option a is it is a bird's nest made by weaving dried grass and twigs together option b it is a skin cast off by a snake option c it is a kind of web made by some spider and option d none of these and the option A is the right one. This is a bird nest we are talking about made by weaving dry guards and twigs together. Question number 9. Which of the following statements about water are correct? 
statements are one it has mass number two it has definite shape number three it has no definite volume and number four it can change from one state to another so only out of four these options i can see it has mass that is the only uh, statement which is correct so only one i have to see so it has mass that is definite and number four it can change from one state to another yes from liquid to gas and from solid that is ice to liquid that is also made of water so one and four are the only two statements which is correct in this sense hence a is the right answer it has no definite volume that is the this uh, not correct and definite shape is also not correct question number 10 which of the four which of the given processes involve the change of state from a liquid to a gas so related to the first question i see uh, options are a melting of an ice cream no b formation of ice cream in the freezer no c drying of wet clothes and hung outside yes the liquid or the water in the clothes gets evaporated by the sunlight and the wind flowing through it and that is what we are looking for for this question hence we'll mark c as the right answer for this and question number 11 the given picture shows a potted plant this is a potted plant which of the following factor may be responsible for such a condition of the plant as you can see the plants has the leaves are falling off from the plants it has dried up there is no fruit there is no flower in the plant which means the plant either is affected by disease and because of some conditions which are not necessary which are necessary conditions that have not been met so let us see what are those conditions can be number one no water number two no light number three no minerals number four attack by disease so like i guess attack by disease is one of the reason but apart from that that is not the only reason no water and no light can be very powerful reason why the this plant has withered away so i can see among a b c d only c has options one two and four in it so we can mark this as the correct answer question 12 refer to the given conversation between two friends mala my grandmother lives at a place where it rains daily whereas my aunt lives in a hot and dry place she we oh really at my place the weather is cool almost the whole year and it snows a lot in winters which of the following can most likely be inferred from the conversation so let us see the options a mala's grandma lived in a still house yes it li she lives in a still house because it rains heavily and daily which is a correct statement b mala's aunt lives in igloo no she lives in a hot place uh cv lives in house with flat roof no because in winter it it snows a lot which means it has to be a slanting uh, roof otherwise the snow will accumulate over the time and the uh, option d cv lives in a mud house also, also very untrue because she lives in a place where it snows a lot in the winters which means she cannot live in a mud house the only option available a is the correct one which can be inferred from these statements question number 13 mohit and his friends were cycling down the street to attend birthday party of sanjay suddenly one of his friends fell down and got hurt badly he needs to see a doctor immediately which of the following given symbols will help mohit to find a doctor for his friend so we all know that medical symbols and uh, the most important one is plus sign plus sign indicates that medicine or medical is related to that particular place hence only p and option a has p so we'll mark option a as the right answer question 14 a teacher needs to show her students that soil contains air which of the following should she do a pour some water into the beaker containing soil b heat some soil in a pan over stove c observe the soil under a microscope and d all of this only option a is correct because when you pour some water in a beaker which has some soil you will see air bubbles in it which proves that soil contains air hence option a is the right answer question 15 refer to kunal's statement so kunal says i do not play outdoor games because i cannot run or jump for long because as you can see kunal is very healthy and now the question which of the following most likely forms the major part of his diet as you can see we have a fast food burger in front of us then we have seeds various kinds of seeds like cashew nuts and raisins then we have fruits and finally we have corn so all of these are healthy foods only this one is a junk food hence that is the probably right answer so we'll mark a as the answer moving on to question number 16 read the given conversation of miss zarin's pupils so garima says priya your hair is so silky priya says garima i like the fragrance of your hair perfume Bina says why you both are making noise and Ladika says let them talk we will watch the video question is sense used by which people will also help her in differentiating hot coffee and cold coffee so hot coffee and cold coffee can be differentiated when uh, when we can use skin as our sense organ 
and among a among garima priya bina and latika i can see garima is talking about priya's hair which is attached to screen hence it can be used to differentiate between hot and cold temperatures hence among a b c d b garima is probably the right answer question 17 the given cloth is suitable for making dash as you can see we have a piece of cloth this is a container in of water the water has not entered the piece of cloth means it's made of something called plastic which prevents water insertion or absorption and options for a t-shirt b sweater c socks d raincoat so d raincoat is probably the right answer because in rainy season we wear raincoats to avoid being soaked in rain so d is the right answer question 18 at an age of 7 8 years which of these work could you do in your family to help your family members options for a you can cook food for them you can earn money and bring things from the market you can set table for meals and D, you can paint the doors. So A, B, D are all jobs for grown-ups. Only C is something that can be that kids can also do with guidance from their parents and elders. So I will mark C as the right answer. Now moving on to question number 19. Select the correct options regarding P, Q, R, S, and T. So what is P? P takes care of patients. Okay, so maybe a doctor. Q sells flower, a florist, R fix taps, pipes and basins, etc. So he is a plumber. S bricks and fixes them with cement. So he is a mason. And T paints the doors and windows. So he is a painter. So let us see the options. A P, R and T help in maintaining law and order. No. B P and Q treat the sick people. P treats the sick people. That is correct. But Q, no. See, we need the help of R, S, and T. Yes, we need the help of a plumber, a mason, and a painter to build a house. Yes, to color, to fit pipe fittings, and to build the house with bricks and cement. We need them. S, S and T keep our money and jewelry safe. No, so only probable answer is C, and that is the correct answer. Question number 20. Select the statement that shows similarities between hibiscus and pea plant. Number one. They grow on land. Number two, they have flowers. Number three, they have weak stems. Number four, they produce edible fruits. Options are A, 1 and 2 only, B, 3 and 4 only, C, 1, 2 and 3 only, and D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Correct option is 1 and 2 only, which is in option A. Hence, we'll mark A as the right answer. Question number 21. Select the incorrect statement about the means of communication related to the picture shown here. So, this is a post office, this is a post office and the options are A, we can send parcels anywhere in the world using it, B, we can buy stamps from there, C, we can send instant messages from here and D, we can keep various kinds of deposits over here. Correct option is C, we can send instant messages from here, we cannot do that, so this is the correct answer. Now, question number 22, three of the following are related to one organ system. Select the odd one out. Options are A hard, B small intestine, C stomach and D pancreas. Correct answer is B small intestine. Question 23. Study the given flow chart carefully. Cotton and silk are represented by the letters dash and dash respectively. So this is the flow chart as you can see we are starting from this point. Then moving downwards. Is it natural? If it is yes, then does it come from plants? If it is yes, then Q. This is probably cotton and is it not natural is P. We are not looking for P. Okay. We are looking for silk. Is it not natural? No. Yes. Does it come from plants? No. Does it come from animals? Yes. Silk comes from silkworm. Hence, we are moving to R. So, basically, cotton and silk are Q and R. And among A, B, C, D, I, C, Q and R is in option B. Hence, we will mark option B as the right answer. Question 24. Namit was asked to pair one outdoor and one indoor activity. He made four pairs, but he made one incorrect pair. Select the incorrect pair. Options are A. Ludo and Karam. B. Badminton and table tennis. C. Football and chess. And D. Both A and B, which is Ludo and Karam and Badminton and table tennis. Option D is the right answer. We'll mark it as the answer. Question number 25. Which of the following object is incorrectly paired with the material it is made of or from? Object is on the left column and materials is on the right column. So, option A for object we have spectacles. For material we have plastic and metal. Option B for object we have hammer and for materials we have metal and wood. Object uh, Option C for object we have drilling machine and for materials we have 
plastic and metal and for option D in objects we have watch and in materials we have wood and rubber which is absolutely incorrect hence option D is the right answer now question number 26 question 26 when you swim one do you play rough games in the pool two always swim in the deep end three always take a rubber tube with you four avoid swimming near the grown ups which of the following safety rules written on the board E slash R incorrect and options are A 1 and 3 only, B 4 only, C 2 and 4 only and D 1, 2 and 3 only. Correct answer is C 2 and 4 which is this one and this one. Question number 27. Varun put a pan of water on a burning stove but he forgot to take it off. Which of the following options correctly represent the possible change in the water content of the pan with time? So as you can see we have four options A, B, C, D as usual and all of these options are representing some graph. So graph has been plotted with water content against time. So the burning stove was actually uh, heating up the water. So with time as you can see this graph is a neutral graph means there will be a change. So the first graph this is impossible because with water when we are heating the water the content of the water will remain same up to 100 degrees celsius or close to 100 degrees celsius when it starts boiling and after that it starts evaporating if it evaporates the water changes from liquid state to the gaseous state when there will be a decrease in the mass of the water in the container so as you can see we have all the options a b c d the mass is increasing towards the arrow in which it is pointing meaning it is starting from zero over here and the mass is increasing over here similarly for the time this is a zero and it is increasing in horizontal way so among a b c d d is the correct option because as i said the water mass will remain same for a certain period of time after that it will change into vapor and it will lose its mass because it will evaporate automatically so option d is the right answer now question number 28 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct options we have already done the matching for you column 1 has the object name and column 2 is what we can derive from that object for example a hell solid ice b rain is for water drops and c snow is for ice crystal so a1 b2 and c3 is the most possible co combination and among a b c d option i see a1 b2 and c3 is an option a hence option a is the right answer Question number 29. A piece of metal is not a source of light because it does not dash. Options are A. Shine light brightly. B. Give off its own light. C. Have a shiny surface. And D. Allow light to pass through it. Correct option is B. Give off its own light. So we'll mark B as the right answer. Question number 30. According to the weather forecast marked in July calendar given below, which of these should be worn on 3rd July? 20 XS. So this is the calendar for the July 20 XS year and as you can see first it was bri bright sunny then partially cloudy or overcast day then we have in the third position rainy day and finally in the fourth position again on overcast or a cloudy day. So we are concerned about on 3rd July. So 3rd July it was rainy day and the options are what should we wear A raincoat, B woolen socks, B silk scarf and D leather jacket. Correct option is A raincoat because it was raining that day. So question number 31 for the achiever section. Four school friends went on a jungle safari. Next day they narrated what they saw in the jungle to their other friends. Hari says, I saw a snake swallowed a frog. Saurya says, there was a big elephant who was eating a tiger which is not possible. Varsha says, I saw many squirrels who were sucking the nectar of flowers which is also not possible. Hiral says, there was a small pond and a dog was hoping or lapping water from it that is correct so which of the following four friends was slash were lying obviously Shaurya and Varsha was lying and among A, B, C, D I see that Shaurya and Varsha is mentioned in option B hence we will mark it as the correct answer question number 32 the woman X and Y in the given picture have to overcome two kinds of forces M and N respectively to carry their groceries read the given sentences or statements about the forces M and N Select the correct incorrect statements regarding the forces M and N respectively. We have four options A, B, C, D as usual and we have two columns also as well. Force M and for force N. We have to find out among these statements 
for m and n which of these statements are actually incorrect but before that we have to learn what kind of forces are we talking about so judging from the statements for force m it says on a it prevents us from sleeping when we walk and that is absolutely frictional force option b it causes objects to move faster which is incorrect c it is produced it more on the smooth surface no it is produced more on the rough surface so b and c is wrong statement for m now let us see what force n is force n says it act at a distance okay it is stronger along the equator than at the poles okay and see all objects have weight because of it so this sentence all objects have weight because of it is basically we are talking about gravitational force but then the statement b it is stronger along the equator and than at the poles which is absolutely wrong it is just the opposite it is stronger at the poles and weaker at the equator so that is why this is a gravitational force hence for m we have b and c as incorrect statement and for n we have only b as the incorrect statements and as you can see from the a b c d option in front of us for m b and c is mentioned in option b similarly or respectively for n b only is mentioned under force n hence we will mark option b as the right answer question number 33 mala set up an experiment as shown here a bright batch of light was seen on the screen what could be the material of sheets p q and r so this is p this is q this is r this is the screen and there, uh, this is the white patch or the patch which was seen the bright patch of light which can be seen on the screen is represented by this gray area now p q r are the metals uh, sorry are the materials which has been mentioned in all a b c d options for a p is glass q is cardboard and b r is metal obviously they will block the light so that is not possible for b p is glass q is glass and r is clear cellophane paper obviously the light will pass through glass and the cellophane paper to reflect on the screen and create this bright patch of light that is the possible answer but we will see option c and d as well option c has cardboard it will block light option d has metal as the first option p or uh, and that will also block the light so only option possible is b that is glass glass and clear cellophane moving on to question number 34 we have the force required to make a plastic ball move from a distance of 4 meters on three different surfaces of equal area is shown in the graph so this is the force required and this is the area so this is and these are the surfaces x y and z okay arranging these surfaces in ascending order of friction which they offer to the moving object so this has been represented as a graph uh, obviously as you can see x has the least amount of force required y has the maximum force required and z has medium force required so if we are ascending uh, arranging it is ascending order obviously x will come first then z and then y and as you can see among a b c d options only b has x z and z then y so option b is the right answer question number 35 the different shapes of moon are shown in the given figures identify the shape of the moon when number 1 the moon is between earth and sun and number 2 the side of the moon facing the earth is fully illuminated by the sun so the when the moon is between earth and sun obviously it will be a so the first phenomenon is called is known as solar eclipse the moon comes between earth and sun and obviously it creates a dark ball when it covers the sun and also a ring appears which is actually not good for the uh, naked eyes to be seen uh, if you have uh, already experienced any solar eclipse okay and the second one is the side of the moon facing the earth is illuminated by the sun obviously the side of the moon which is facing the earth if it is illuminated by the sun it will be bright it will be reflecting which is why we can see the moon shining brightly in the night sky so as you can see from the pictures provided in among a b c d for the first one the moon will be totally dark correct and for the next option it will be bright which is over here represented by this uh, faint light or white light so op option a is the correct one that matches statement 1 and statement 2 and with that we come to the end of this session we have covered the 35 questions for this worksheet we will be shortly pu publishing it into our youtube channel please visit it view it put your comments let us know what do you think about this video and with that we'll close this session we will meet again with another interesting video till then have a great day goodbye